today's video, we are going to be going over how to use the job function in Handshake. So the first thing you're going to need to do is make sure you are logged into your Handshake account. So what you'll see here is murraystate.joinhandshake.com. You'll go to that URL there, and then you'll log into your Handshake account via MyGate. Um, if you're not sure exactly how to you know, navigate Handshake or if you're new to Handshake, Make sure to check out our other video about basically everything Handshake, and that will kind of help you walk you through utilizing the system. But on today's video, we're going to focus on the job um, section of Handshake. So as you can see here, this is the landing page that you come into once you log into Handshake. You'll see several different big white windows here that say jobs, employers, community. Of course, there's also the tabs up here at the top as well. So if you want, go ahead and click on that Jobs tab there, and that's going to take you to the job section of Handshake. So Handshake is a job platform, meaning that employers can post jobs, internships, um, and everything else on here as well that you can apply to as a student. Now I'm gonna walk you through a few different things on here. So if you are a current student and you know, you're still living on campus or even if you live off campus and you still got a few more years here and maybe you're interested in on-campus jobs. So you'll see right up here, there's several different filters. So location, full-time job, internship, part-time on campus, and then there's a button that says all filters. If you click that on-campus filter there, it's going to bring up a whole list of positions available here on campus. Now these vary from the Howland Department to Racer Patrol and then even other positions such as Peer Career Advisor at Career Services. If you're interested in, in any of these positions you can click on them. You can see over here to the right hand side there's descriptions of the positions and also preferences down here at the bottom. And then you'll see the application deadline and everything as well so that's the deadline you have to have your applications in. Now, if you're interested in applying to the position, you'll see a red apply button here. Now, this will differ on certain things, but all positions on campus will have the red apply button. Now, many positions that aren't on campus, you may see apply externally button, which we'll cover a little bit later. But so for positions where you apply directly on Handshake, you'll just hit this apply button here. And there may be different things that come up. Now they may have you attach your resume, in which case you can just click it down if you have already uploaded to your profile. If not, you can hit the upload new button here and go ahead and upload it. Um, attach cover letter here, All right, same thing. You can go through and find it. If it's not attached, you can upload a new one. And then sometimes they may ask for other required documents. So make sure you read these instructions from the employer. So where this says, please also include three to five references. So that's really important to make sure you follow all directions when applying for a position. Because if you don't, you're going to not have all the required documentation and you may not get the interview or you may not be selected as a candidate. So make sure you follow all instructions when applying to the position. Now, most of them will require you to do it and it won't let you submit it until you have that information in there. So that shouldn't be a huge problem for you since it requires you to do it before you submit it. Now, say you find a position and you want to save it for later. You can actually click the save button here and now add it to your saved jobs. So then you can come up here at the top where it says saved, click on those. And you can actually find the saved jobs listed in your saved jobs section. And you can come back to those later, click on them, apply, click apply here, and everything is where as well. Now, likewise for applications, any job that you apply to, you can access those applications through here. And you can edit them or submit documentation up to the point where it still um, hasn't expired yet. All right, now going back to jobs, so I showed you a little bit about on-campus jobs. Now, of course, you can use this straight up filters up here. If you want to just look for internships, you can click on that. If you want to just look for full-time jobs, you can click on that. And if you want to filter by location, you can do that as well. So it'll probably bring up a list of locations near you. 
Um, you can also search them up here. So say if you're interested in Nashville, you can click on that, put Nashville. And then you can also adjust the distance here. So it's defaulted at 50 miles, but you can lower that down or you can bring it all the way up to 100. So just however you want to search there. So then you hit show results and you'll see all kinds of positions that are available in Nashville. Now let's say you're looking for an accounting position. So you can just straight up search accounting. And obviously accounting staff associate at Craft CPAs in Nashville. So let me go ahead and click on that. I can see the description of the position, all the information there as well, as well as the deadline. And then here's that apply externally button I mentioned earlier. So what this will do, it's going to take you to the company's website but it may also have you submit a resume before you do it so let's go ahead and click that and yeah look so it's going to have me submit my resume first so once I submit attach my resume here I would go to step two which is the external application that's going to take me to their company website where I will continue with the application process from there so make sure um, that you follow through with everything that you need to. Um, just because it has you submit a resume on here doesn't mean that's all you have to do. So make sure you complete all steps that are required for when applying to a position. Then some other things you can do is on the all filters button, you can click that and that's going to bring up a whole list of different filters. So these are, you'll see the full-time, part-time ones up here, internship on campus, just the usual ones. Um, you can click to be paid roles only, so no one paid internships. Um, if you're strictly a work-study student, you can filter out work-study positions as well. Um, and then you can even search job row. So maybe there's certain job roles like high school teachers. You can use that filter in there. You can also filter out about industry. So maybe you're looking at advertising, PR, and marketing. You can use that to filter out just those positions. Or if there's just a certain employer that you're looking at, you can actually search those employers here. We have over 7,000 employers actually connected to us on Handshake, so there's a good good chance that they're on here. And if they're not, I mean, reach out to our office. We're happy to reach out to them. And there's also all kinds of other filters you can use here as well. But that is a little bit about the job section of Handshake. With graduation coming up, we wanted to cover this just because we know um, a lot of students are looking for jobs right now. They're trying to find things. Um, say for students who aren't graduating, they're looking for internships for the summer. Um, on-campus students might be looking for on-campus positions for next fall even. So we just kind of want to cover a little bit of the basics when it, when it comes to the job search on Handshake. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was educational for you all. Of course, if you need anything from our office, feel free to reach out to us. I'll have that contact information at the end of the video here. But we're always happy to help out, and go Racers.